the grill. Coming back to you with another one. Damn, my chair almost fucking broke. Damn, this is live. Kind of live. Um, man, I still got the allergies. I did take Zyrtec. I think someone said, hey, man, take some. I know. Hey, it's nice to see these markets. Look at this shit. Some greens over here. I uh, see you see what I'm into. See what I, I watch, right? Um, so real quick, this video I'll try to make it five minutes. I, I know I'm gonna damn to do that, but, but a lot of people ask me about steak. Um, how did I get into it? When I got into it, um, when am I up or am I down? So I just want to give a quick update as to steak. So I got in at steak at about four bucks. I think pre-launch was, I think pre-sale, pre-launch, whatever I call it, whitelist. Um, you know, somebody, whatever list that I think was under a dollar. I think it was like 85 or 95 cents. I think most of those people got in. So everyone that's in there since pre-sale launch, they got their 14 times. So the highest this has gone is I think 14, yeah, 14, five yesterday. Is that yesterday? Yeah, it's yesterday. So this thing is, you know, it is nuts, man. You, you, you do, I don't, I can't talk. Um, you think this is just going to crash and just it's not going to make it, but there's so many things around this thing that make it so it, it can't fail as easily. Not saying it, it won't, I'm just saying, well, hopefully it doesn't, but it just it just has mechanisms in place to deter people from selling off. So, um, you know, there was a sell-off here when it got to 13, went all the way down to 8. If you got in here at 8, you got lucky because I was if you saw one of my videos, I was sleeping. I would have bought more, um, and then it came back up again, and now it dropped again to eleven. We're making you know higher lows is is right is the way they're they're higher lows and higher highs, right? So this should go past uh, fourteen five. Uh, I think it'll get to fifteen, and you know we'll see what happens if it just busts through fifteen or not today. People are buying this man, bear market, whatever. I mean, this one is making it. I mean, there's some huge buys coming through um, uh, stake. So, look at this. I mean, there's there's just a ton. Look, there's a thirty thousand dollar buy, twenty two thousand buy. I mean, these, this is the twelfth, right? The third, fourteen, the thirteenth. This is two days ago when the market. I mean, still, right? The market was shit. Um, so. Anyway, I want to let you know where I was. Uh, you probably saw the title and how am I coming up with that, right? So, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and, and just compound. Um, I'm just gonna do the faucet side. So this is what's really cool. You can they split the rebases and the faucets. So you get one percent here, two percent here. So you can just compound the faucet, which I understand it doesn't hurt your nerd value, right? So um, when you actually take the faucet, the one percent it does. So I'm gonna just compound, so this is 95. I'm just gonna compound the faucet side. <clears throat> it, this is just, you know, I love it because it reminds me of drip, but like with everything that you didn't like about drip. And I am still in drip, you guys know I'm in drip. You know, I have a ton of money in drip, but it's cool because they've built on the wheel essentially, right, and made it better. And they're gonna have a following. They have a crazy following right now on Instagram. I'm um, sorry, Instagram, Telegram. Um, if you go to their site, uh, they have 2,300 over 2,300 people in there. They're pretty active. If you look in here, there's a lot of drip people in here. And I'm not saying I'm. You know, everyone says that this is an awesome dude. It always helps out here. Um, the lead. Uh, but there's a lot of people from Stake. They're from Drip, right? They can coexist. So I think it's amazing. I think it's great. Um, that I can be in two separate things. They're kind of similar, kind of not. Um, one has a huge following, obviously, of 32,000 followers, right? I mean, 31,000 in the drip community, plus Animal Farm, plus whatever, right? So Stake does have a utility coming as well. Um, I'm not going to go through it all. I, I would advise you to go hit up their um, their Telegram. I'm probably going to just say it all wrong, but um, they... They're, they're here, man. Um, I was a little worried about it. I thought it was going to be pump and dump, and I'm thinking, like, how can you can't really dump it? Uh, so, I don't know. I just thought it was pretty cool. So, here here's the deal. Let me just show you how it came up my numbers. You'd be like, hey, you can't take it all out. You're gonna, your nerd value is going gonna, is gonna to drop. Oh, see, nerd dropped actually won. So, maybe I'm wrong about that. So, anyway, um, nerd was at 95. Um, here's the deal. Let me just show you how I came up with that number. And... And, and why I think or how I'm going to take profits out of here. So I, told, I put a total of $5,000 into here. Um, 
And right now, this account um, is worth. Like I said, I got an eleven. I got a bit. I got an eleven, and I got in at six. The majority of my money was at I think four twenty-five. Um, so eleven hundred, right? Oh, sorry, lose that three eleven times, and it's at just say fourteen dollars. So account is now worth fifteen times. So, uh, fifteen times, fifteen thousand, right? So I pretty much uh, tripled my money. I am. Like I said, I don't even know what to say. It's kind of a blessing. I actually forget about this because I'm so into Averice right now and, and getting confused as fuck if you saw my last video and the last videos on Averice. I'm getting it, but there's still things I just don't know. But no here, no there, right? This is about stake. I don't even know what to tell you. I'm up three times on stake, and this is how I figured, you know, how much I'm going to take home every month if I wanted to. I'm sorry. I am going to. I'll be honest. Uh, I need some cash for some different things and take some profits because that's one thing I'm horrible about. I'm horrible about taking profits. My wife is on me all the fucking time. Hey, take some fucking money out. Um, stop asking me for money. So here we go. So this, and I, like I told you, right, um, the way this works is you can take up to 3%, but if you start taking all of it, um, you get your nerds down down here to the it has to stay above zero and you get all your rebases and your faucet but i think my understanding is if it goes below zero then that's when they start cutting back so i'm just always going to stay above it right so if we take 1103 i'm just going to take say, say i'm just going to take two percent right so i take 0 0.02 right times just say it's 14 dollars so it's 308 right 308 times 30 that's 9200 bucks so I'm going to take home $9,200 a month as a price of $14, and I'm still compounding that 1%. So every day, I'm taking home 11, right? So 1103 as of right now, times um, the 1%, uh, right? Simple math, I know, right? So 11, so after 30 days, and there's going to be more in this, right? Because it's compound interest, but um, that doesn't make sense, sorry. So it's eleven. So it's eleven oh three times one percent, right? Oh my Lord in heaven, eleven oh three times uh, point zero one. Okay, eleven a day, right? Times thirty days. Oh, that was right. I'm sorry, that was right. So in thirty days, I'm still accumulating, right? So in thirty days from now, this plus eleven oh three. It's going to be fourteen thirty-three. It it just it's nuts, right? Because you have the, the the advantages of the one percent, but you still get to take out as much as two percent, um, or whatever, right? Whatever whatever you need or whatever you want. So, roughly speaking, I'll take out the nine to ten thousand dollars a month and see how that works. If this nerd value decides to drop down too much, then I'll stop doing that. Maybe I'll only do one percent. Um, but there are taxes, right? So this is the one thing. There is a sell tax of 10%, um, is my understanding. Let me just check it so I'm just not telling you the wrong information. So there are a lot. So one thing, the one complaint about this, if you were like, there's a ton of taxes. I was like, don't even freaking worry about the taxes at some point because at the end of the day, right, you're um, just compound, man, just compound. But hey, man, you worry about, I worry about the taxes. Uh sorry sorry faucet no fees here <clears throat> all right steak okay so if you have three percent uh, okay sell so 18 percent five percent towards the pool so there's 18 percent tax so that is a lot right so when you compound there's a tax of five percent and so it's 23 percent so you look at that like damn and then when you bought you had a three percent uh, uh, thirteen percent tax. So there is a lot of taxes. So you consider that. But hey, man, I mean, I'm still doing the math. This just still works out for me. So if I if I said roughly speaking, that was I think it was ninety three hundred, right? Times point zero. Uh, no, no, no. Times uh, it's point one eight, right? And you think about it, it just makes the, the platform more sustainable. There's there, there's a lot of taxes, uh, discourages selling, but then at the same time, people still can sell. So ninety three hundred. Uh, my lord, I am so, I'm having a problem right now. 9,300 times 0.18. So that'd be times uh, uh, point, uh, 0.82, right? So point times 0.82, uh, 18%, right? So, so I take home $7,600 a month. 
So that's what I'm gonna put in there. It's $7,600 a month, 2% after taxes, right? I'm taking out 2% of my stake every month. That would be $7,600 after the 18% tax. Times, let's do it, 12 months. That's $91,000 a year for a $5,000 investment, assuming this stays at $14, right? And I get it, the market can go, this can go to seven, this can go to 22, this can go to 100, this can go to whatever, but hey, um, I'm hoping this wasn't that long. I said five minutes, I lied to you, I always lie. Um, I do have someone on my team. Um, please let me know who you are because I have no idea how to find it. Um, leave me a comment. I'm assuming you know me, you've seen my videos. Um, I'm assuming you're gonna see this one. Hit me in the comments, let me know it was you. Um, you know, maybe I'll send you something small, something big, whatever. I don't know. I'm just saying it. Just let me know who you are. If you're interested in my team, please hit the referral link. Um, it'd be awesome. You don't have to, but I would if I was you, because it would be me. Um, but anyway, no, I'm just I'm just messing around. But now financial advice to your due diligence. If you like this, hit that thumbs up. If you don't like it, hit that thumbs down twice. Everyone have a good rest of your Wednesday.